was the last time you got this car inspected? Uh, Never. it's not inspected to be totally it's honest inspected. with you. Okay. Mmm, that's good. You wanna talk about shit that sucks? This weather, shit that doesn't suck, white monster. Now that we've destroyed the ad revenue for this video, we can get moving because today we are going up to Shane's. I say that about the ad revenue, but really mine hasn't, like I said, you know, I made a video about this like a month ago. If you haven't seen it, check it out. But, um, you know, mine hasn't taken a hit at all. I just started bleeping out my swearing because generally it's a good idea. According to a lot of YouTubers, it's a good idea, but a lot of people on my channel didn't really like it, so I won't do it. I thought that sounded kind of weird. Look at this. It's an exhaust clamp. The tire must have knocked it loose. If I had a lift, I would do that myself, but I guess I'll have to have Andy do it when he does the fuel system and the clutch. That sucks. A lot of people said to me, Mike, aren't you upset by it? But really, if you drive a car 16, going on 16,000 miles in like a year, shit's gonna happen to it. I would much rather have, you know, little things go wrong here and there and drive it than have it sit in a garage and never use it because I'm afraid of things happening. Cars are not a work of art. They are not an investment. They are meant to be driven, Troy. And eh? I can see it in your eyes. I'm gonna be your fucking demise. Back yet? I don't know if I can put that in the vlog, dude. That might be too much. I think that's too much. You don't think that's too much? Listen, Max is working on his feed boss and it's kicking his ass right now. The yellow, uh, the yellow C5? The yellow C5 is kicking his ass right now. What's man. it doing to him? We're putting headers in it. Oh, okay. It's not like a C7. It's not as easy as a C7? It's not as easy as C7, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Max. Tell Max I'm sorry, but he can work on my car again real soon. Max, you hear that? Mike said you can work on his car real soon. Yeah, when I hit the uh, semi truck tire. I didn't watch the whole video, I'll be honest with you. What? Man, you just deserve the money for the second fucking commercial, that's all. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> it must have knocked an exhaust clamp loose because it's rattling under the car. Well, why'd you do that for? I don't know. Well, Mike, listen. It's not my fault. I'm starting to think you don't deserve a C7. Probably not, dude. Probably I'm not. I'm to think you deserve like a fucking Honda Civic EX. Speaking of Honda Civic, uh, there's one right in front of me and he's trying to box me in with this semi truck, but I'm gonna pull the old switcheroo on him. Aha! Uh -huh. I was gonna say, I mean, the, car, the car's not pretty even wrecked twice. Just fucking <laughs> ram that motherfucker. Yeah, I might as well just start ramming into people. I mean, the car's already ruined, so I have nothing to lose. Yeah, I mean, fuck it, right? Car fact, yeah, right? Okay. My deductible is 1500 bucks. I'm not gonna. Holy shit, why don't you drop that shit to 500, dude? Dude, because if my, my deductible being high, it keeps my monthly payment down. I, I understand that, but if you're in a real accident, you're gonna be putting out $1,500, which I know you're a poor yeah, guy. Yeah, which is small you potatoes house. when you're talking you're, about potentially you just, 20 or 30 grand worth of damage. Yeah, and you just bought a brand new motherfucking truck. <laughs> That's I mean, right. You can't afford that kind of money right now, man. Hey, when are we modifying that truck? Well,. We're gonna modify that truck on Wednesday morning, maybe. Wednesday morning, okay. There you go, the yeah. first mod so, for Tuesday, the Silverado. Maybe, maybe, all depending on what my payments look like Tuesday, maybe we'll do it Tuesday. So your clutch is gonna be here tomorrow, right? Yep, should be. All right, why don't you drop your uh, beautiful yellow student driver Corvette off Sunday night. Sunday night, okay. We'll do the clutch, we'll do the fuel system, and then we'll discuss the uh, beautiful uh, everything else later. But in the meantime, we'll modify your beautiful 2017 
GMC <laughs> or Sierra, Silverado, what the GMC? Whatever it is, I don't care. Who the fuck would you drive a GMC? Me, I would drive a GMC because it's a real truck. Are you serious? I thought it was a Chevy. You do realize that GMC was out seven years before Chevy. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. Dude, dude. I think you're making shit up. I'm not making shit up. I know my fucking cars and trucks, boss. Okay. GMC is actually okay. older than Chevrolet. I see a Rose Cold and fucking does burnouts. I'm like both you and Dirty Mac Jackson. Oh, come on now. We did burnouts. Listen, I will keep my fucking smoke tune in <laughs> until you and Dirty Mac Jack can get together with me and show me what a real well, why don't you come down? No, why don't you come down and we'll go back to the military base and we'll go fuck around. Do they have fucking pavement? Do they have what? Do they have pavement down there? Do you like Do they have out? pavement? Did you see us? We did like three street races. Yeah, listen, man. I'm going to blow so much fucking black smoke. I'm going to like, you guys ain't going to know what the fuck happened. Yeah, well, it's not going to affect us because we're going to be way ahead of you. With a pap cap, <laughs> With a top cap and a pulley, I'm calling you and Dirty Max Jack out for an official dead stop fucking smoke tune race. Okay. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Did you hear that? What's a pin problem for men? <laughs> Tell your viewers to come over and like my Facebook and like my Instagram, like my YouTube, because I'm about 470 subscribers away from 70,000. 70K. Very there you go. You heard it here from Andy. Go over and subscribe. Follow him on Instagram and Facebook. He is almost at 70K subscribers, and he is a great man. I am a great man. Only thanks to you and the beautiful Guitar Magen ZL1. Which okay. I don't even see anymore. But I'm very <laughs> jealous about. I don't even know who he is. Like, I forget what his real name is. He's too cool for us, I man. You know he's got two ZL1s. Yeah, man. Him and Troy Sowers. Like, I don't hear from them guys anymore. Dude, they're man. over I, beating each other I, off, like, detailing their cars. They're off doing some gay shit, dude, all the time with I them. Know, man, I really miss them and I love them. And I just want to <laughs> give them bear hugs with my giant beard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you let them know on your on your YouTube video that I miss them dearly and I wish they would come around and visit me more often. Nobody nobody cares about your YouTube, man. I'll talk to you later. I'm gonna give uh I'm gonna give Nick a shout, Guitar again ZL1, my best buddy, uh second to none, except for you. Okay. And then uh we'll figure something out for this track day because we've got an announcement for everybody. Alright, sounds good. Alright, uh, you have a good rest of your day, boss. You too. Uh, oh Andy. Yes. I love you. You know what? I fucking love you too. All right. At Shane's, we see the Mustang. And from what I understand, he has a Camaro that he said is pretty cool. Now, Shane and I have different definitions of the word cool, so we'll see. Oh, ZL1 wheels. Oh, that can only mean one thing. It's very peaceful. Yeah, buddy. What do you think? Looks good. It looks great, man. This There's is... the yellow for the uh, Blue Angel. Oh, the Blue Angel uh, scheme you're going with. Yeah. Uh, so what are you going to do? You don't want to reveal it. Don't, don't reveal it. Shane does have a YouTube channel now. And he's been uploading Shh. consistently so if you want to see the videos and you want to see the color scheme of the new ZL1, go check it out and subscribe. No more faux pro? No. Oh, thank God, dude. The color on that camera was so bad. Do you agree? Yes. Yeah. It was like blue. It was blue. Everything was blue. Now he's got a system here. Look at that. You got to get the, uh, if you're going to vlog with it, you got to get the anal beads. So you can hold it and wrap it around stuff. You can make a tripod with those anywhere on anything. It's actually pretty cool. Yeah. I know that I always rip on the anal beads, but they do work really great. Work Troy uses uh, anal that beads. setup. Not yeah. for the same reason. Yeah, not for not for not what they're for, intended to do. Yeah, he uses them for good. For pleasure. Extracurricular. You can tell him, Shane. Oh, we're going over. Uh, I'm putting you on there. the spot. 
Yeah, let's find another poster design. So we're gonna do this another run of this side shot of this beautiful camo. That's right. We were only gonna do one run of the posters, but I feel like that's not enough for how cool this car looked. And yeah. I wanted to do one more. So this is the one that I picked. Another picture here, of course, from Ben Troxel. And this is my second favorite of the bunch. I think there's gonna be no more grungy in the background. Yeah, which which is another reason why oh, we wanted to do man. it because this yeah. is at Shane's shop. We went to go look at this shop like what? Oh, that was a like blank. a month ago yeah, or two months yeah. ago. Sort of snuck in there. Before it looked all grungy and now, is it painted yeah, now? Yeah, it'll be painted by the end of the day today. Really? Yeah. Now it's all white. I'm going to swing by on the way home and check it out. This is the poster run. This will be the last one for sure. And I mean, I love the pictures. Every time I see them, dude. dude ben freaking Ben Troxel. God. He's awesome at editing. He's, he's the dude. And you guys loved the last run. And we had a ton of people actually say like, hey, I wanted a poster. And we canceled the run before. Well, we didn't cancel it, but it ended. Yeah. Before a lot of people got them. So this is now your chance. These will be up on the website tonight. Yeah. When you see this video, and they are $19.99 as always, each one is hand signed by me, so you place an order. We'll see. Give it like a day or two to see how many we get, then I'll come back up and sign them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you gotta sign. Uh, you gotta sign. Oh, and we have to sign. Tell them the story. I gotta pull up this. This, this is the pictures you sent. So, <laughs> one of our customers, Cl uh, Clinton Jones. I guess he must have received a makeup bag, like a professional like makeup case. This is it. Look at him go. Yeah, so this, somebody it's must have- like a thousand dollar makeup uh, yeah, case, well, Whatever dude. it was, it was nice. And <laughs> someone must have swapped the labels. So here, there's our label on top In of this Shane box. Design's logo. This poor somebody. guy, instead of getting a poster, he got a makeup case. Somehow the post office really fucked us. Yeah. Which really isn't, it's the post office, but. <laughs> He's gonna love that. The computer's not gonna do it justice, but. God damn. Yep, they will be live on the website tonight, inshanedesigns.com, links down below. Later, Dave. Hey, don't be no retired. What? Be safe going home. Who's going home? I said, be safe going home. Oh, I'll be safe. No tires. No tires. Yeah, I'll try not to hit any. See you, fuckers. On my way home, I did stop at Tire Mart, which you are going to see up here on the right. You can see the parking lot over there. Tire Mart. My man Justin, who has installed two sets of tires on this car already, uh, he put it up on the lift and got that bolt uh, for the exhaust clamp tightened up. No more rattling noise. Oh, aren't they so cute together? Anyway, before we end this episode of the vlog, I do have to show you some footage from yesterday evening. I pulled in there real quick and I was like, he's got to see me. And then there you went. Yeah, I was going too fast to stop. I saw you <laughs> and I was like, well, I could stop. There's a car there. I didn't want to hit him. So, anyways, for the Absolutely. Uh, we gotta let you know this truck stop is being audio and video recorded. Sure thing. I have my GoPro running too, if that's okay. That's if you want me to turn fine. off, I will for it. No, that's perfectly fine. I did not worry. So, you know, it's Yeah, car. I'm going to need to look at sure. the the current version just to double check that you got it. When was the last time you got this car inspected? Uh, it's not inspected to be totally honest inspected. with you. Potentially a bad pullover. He was sitting at the bottom of a pretty big hill and I was in like fourth gear giving her a little bit so I'm thinking and this is a 55 so and that's not gonna be a good not gonna be a good one when he was coming back he, he saw me up here at the last minute so he turned around and then he was going back the other way on the other side of the guardrail I could have easily went right down there and out. There's no way he would have caught me, so. But I'm not a bad person. I don't run. What happens, man? How you been? Good, man. How are you? Good. I haven't seen you for a while. Been around. Yeah. I was in Ohio for a while. Don't listen to him. I'm a terrible person. I don't give out speeding tickets, but you're going too fast, so I, I kind of had to. Can you just give me, like, anything that's not points? Then I can just, then we don't have to go to court. We'll get there. Thank you so much. So I appreciate the, that. So for the registration, okay. um, after you renew it, you're going to have to drop by our station, 425 Prince Street. Okay. Show us that you got a current registration. You'll be good to go. Make sure you do that by the end of this month. Okay. If you get to July, I'm going to be giving you a citation for that, too. I'm going to do that. Station address is right there on the back, okay? Okay. The not guilty or guilty, however you plead. Okay. Cut that off, and then mail it to this address right here, 5925B Stevenson Avenue. 
We'll call this number, this is the easiest way. Off the back yeah, you have a wrench? Like, I do. Right, let's do it. Oh. Do, you any, do you have any weapons on your person? No, I do not. Couple tickets, but no points. You pay them and you're fine. So imagine that. If you're nice and respectful to the police, you get breaks. Not only cooperation, but you know, keep the, this might sound silly, but keep the officer's safety in mind. So when you get pulled over, put your windows down. You know, keep your hands somewhere where they are visible. You know, don't be fidgeting around with stuff until he says to produce the items like your uh, insurance and whatnot. You know, don't be digging through stuff. Um, just, just be smart. And they're gonna appreciate that. All that speeding around is bad for gas mileage. It was so dumb because, you know, I've lived here a long time, long enough to know, more than long enough to know, that cops love to sit in that location, catching people speeding, coming down the hill. It's a great spot. So I just wasn't thinking about it and I paid the price. However, there you go. You know, don't be a dick to the cops, especially when you know you're doing something wrong and usually it helps you out. I hope that you enjoyed this upload and if you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you are stopping in for the first time, please subscribe. Take care, have a great day.